Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Effectrix uh, from Sugarbytes. So I did this a while ago, but again with some of the videos I did ages ago, the, the sound quality was okay, but the video, the video, the video, the video quality was rubbish. Uh, but now it's a bit better. Um, I ain't, you know, it ain't 4K, but you can see you can see a li little bit better what's going on on the screen. So the thing to remember with Effectrix is it is super, super, super duper cool. I have it MIDI up here, but you have MIDI triggers. And the MIDI triggers, basically, you can trigger with your keyboard. will run through any programs that you kind of set up. So I swap over to this one here, put a few of these in, whatever. Go back, go back there. So you can set up uh, or up to up, up, up all these here as new pattern sort of thing we'll start with this one and also it requires midi clock to work okay so if if i hit if i just let me just take that out no, actually don't need to do that let me just take the mix down um uh, and i will play something in cube basis now I'll, I'll run through a few different things how this works but it, like i said it requires midi clock you can't just drop it in an effect slot player synth it won't doesn't work like that it has to run sort of thing is as like a it has to be running as a, as 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 a MIDI clock sort of thing, so it has to receive MIDI clock from somewhere else, and it's receiving it's receiving its MIDI clock from AUM now, so that's okay. Uh, but you'll know what I mean when I get started. So if we go to Cubasis here, I'll just play this thing. I'll start to play this thing. This is a piece. This is a a basic piece from the next Doug and Colin album, which won't be out for ages and ages because we're both quite busy doing stuff. But we've started. And it's a new uh, Thanks and Clay project, we think, but with with some extra bits and pieces, which is quite fun. Any of it does neither end of there. Um, so I'm going to run through this, and then I'm going to play with Effectrix with this as well. So if we just start it off here, let's see how it goes. If I start this off now, you'll start. It will start to affect it. How cool is this now? Thank you. 
So you get the idea how it works. Basically, I mean, you, you, it's very, it's highly unlikely you would ever, ever, ever use it on a full track. Although you can, as you've just seen. So you can do some just insanely cool stuff. You can use it just as in a basic effects. I'll stop it there. We'll use it as basic effects process. So you can apply reverb delays, but you can apply it wherever you like in the beat. Um, you can do all sorts of other cool stuff as well. You have each time you select a different effect, you have control over that uh, effect parameters here. And of course the mix as well. And you can just go through the different ones to choose which, like say I don't want the phaser in that one. I want, um, oh, I don't know. No, sorry. These are the presets for the phaser. So you have presets for the the actual whole thing and then you have presets for the actual reverb as well and any other effect that's in Effectrix. So let's see what else we can do. Let's close Cubasis. Now, if I put, um, let's see, Interrap Audio, or, no, Audio Unit Extension, and I put uh, uh, Audio Damages, let's just, we can bypass it there, and I play the clock here. Because audio damage is using the actual clock to run, that means that we can very easily use um, effect tricks to mess with action. We can get some very, very cool glitchy effects going on. Now, although Effectrix is not interact, is not a, an AU, we could add, of course, another synth or whatever and play along with that, or we could just add another. Another action too. Action. Because we can add effects as well, because Effectrix is an effect, but it's an interrupt audio effect that requires clock to run. We could add an inter uh, another audio unit extension, but we could this time add a replicant to this one, which also requires clock to work, and it's also very, very cool. So we could do this, for instance. So we've got a nice glitchy effect going on with Replica there.
can stop the whole lot because it's all been synced with midi clock and of course if we want to record that we can re we can set this to record on separate channels into cubasis and you're good to go so that's Fectrix guys play, playing with some audio damage stuff but anything that will run as midi clock you know rock drum machine soft drum stuff like that you can process i mean i wouldn't advise processing a whole track but you could set it up to do some cool stuff over the whole track of course you know you don't have to you can i mean you can have blank <clears throat> You can have blank MIDI settings, and don't forget you have absolutely total control over the effect as well. Also, the actual preset of the effect, so you don't, you know, you could set it to do things differently. Um, but yeah, Effectrix, it, it is an awesome, an awesome, awesome, awesome app. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool, and when you use it with the stuff that we have now, because we didn't have all this stuff when Effectrix came out, and it was a little bit more complex to set up. I did do some quite good videos actually using loads of apps but it was harder to set up this is a piece of cake to set up it's easy and it's a lot of fun okay guys uh thanks for watching uh, give the video a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel consider becoming a patreon and i will see you guys later